I'd like to discuss now how to deal with a frequent thing that occurs, which is that your slides are tilted. Um, and so the most common reason this occurs is because you use a cover slip that extends all the way to the edge of the slide. And so that props up one end on the inverted microscope configuration. And as you move from left to right, and sometimes from top to bottom, what you see is that the focus drifts out of position. So I've artificially created this circumstance by uh, putting a piece of tape on one side of a slide that I have here. And so you can see that um, there's a section on that slide. And in the middle, things are uh, in focus, but on the edges, they're not. So let me illustrate this uh, with live. You can see that when um, I'm in focus there on that side, if I go to the other side, I am out of focus. Uh, and so how, is there any way that we can deal with this? And, and, the, and the answer is yes, there is. Uh, this system has a way of compensating for that, which I'm going to show you now. So um, the way you do it is in tiles, um, you go here and you open this option called focus surface and uh, support points. And, and there's sort of different ways of doing this. In the simplest uh, uh, way, you're going to add multiple support points using a generic method. This works well with a tilted slide. It doesn't work well if you have a, a sample that, that, that's sort of um, kind of wobbly. And, and that's that can happen if you have a section that's folded in on itself or something like that. But for the case of tilted, you can use this generic method. And then for the interpolation degree, you use a tilted plane. Um, so this assumes that your slide is it's tilted in a plane, which is a good assumption for, for a slide that's tilted for the reason I mentioned, which is a cover slip that extends all the way towards the end. Um, and, and so then what happens is that once you create um, a, a tiling region, um, then um, you can add to it these support points, which will allow you to tell it what the proper focus is at each position and compensate accordingly. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to, I'm in this, uh, in the viewer, I'm going to create uh, just a tile like this. Um, I'm going to go to kind of 1x here, maybe something like that. Actually, let me reduce it a little bit so it's a little bit faster. So something like this. Um, OK, so I want to create that. And first, I'm going to show you what happens if um, we we don't do uh, the support points. Uh, what's going to happen? So if, so if I go to uh, verify, just to make sure that I'm in focus, I'm going to move to the current point. So that's the center of the tile stack, of, of the tiled region. I'm going to go to live. I'm going to make sure that that is as in uh, the center as I can get it. So that's nicely in focus there. So I'm going to set the Z and I'm done. So this sets, assumes that whatever's in the middle of the tile, if it's in focus there, it's going to be in focus in the entire tile. So let's see if that's true. Um, and you'll see that it is definitely not true because the slide is tilted. And I tilted it on purpose, but often you'll see that this will happen to you not on purpose, and so you need a solution. So this is not good. The middle is... is uh, nicely in the focal plane, but as you go to the edges, there's obviously uh, a tilt problem. So what can we do about that? So what we can do is we go back here and we have this method generic and we distribute the points. And so these are going to be these points where it checks the focus. And so now if we go to this one and say verify, we're going to move to the current point. It goes there. We go to live. And we adjust the focus by hand until this is as bright as it can be. And we say, set Z and move to next. So now we go to this one. And again, we want it as bright as it can be. Set Z and move to next. Set Z and move to next. And we go to set Z and move to next. So we verified all points. If I say close now and stop this. So now we have this, this focus map that it made. Um, and so now if we say start experiment, it'll do the same tile, but it'll compensate for the Z position as it goes along. And you can see that now everything is nicely in focus because um, 
the assumption that this was a tilted plane is is correct and so uh, by tilting it the appropriate amount we get a very nice um, evenly in focus sample and you can compare them if I just go excuse me here to with the gear to two containers if I move this one over and compare it to this one you can see this is without that uh, adjustment and this is with the adjustment so it really works quite well again if you need to do something more complicated because you have a floppy sample um, then you can use the onion skin method and you can use uh, you know more and more complicated uh, interpolation for the focus uh, surface okay um, so this is a very useful feature uh, that I hope will come in candy to people with um, sections and things that are tilted.